Hello everyone, I'm Exotic Gaming, and welcome back to a very special, brand new tutorial video for my YouTube channel. Now, if this is the very first video you are coming across of mine, I am, for the most part, a gaming YouTuber. And more specifically, I am a mobile gaming YouTuber. I do a lot of videos on my iPhone. And ever since I first began posting videos, I've gotten tons and tons of comments from people asking how I record my iPhone screen. Truth is, now in 2017, I use an Elgato, but it wasn't always like that. I used a free screen recorder and it wasn't very good. So I've always recommended getting an Elgato for people, but the problem is that's worth $250. And for people that are just starting out on YouTube, they can't afford that. So I've looked and I've looked and I've confidently come across an app that is very good. It is called Everycord, as you guys can see right here. It allows you to record your iPhone screen completely free in 1080p and 60fps. This is the perfect app for if you are starting up doing gaming videos on YouTube, and I'm extremely excited to be showing it to you all today. So if you guys are excited for this video, and if this video helps you all, make sure to leave a like down below, and let's get into this tutorial. All right, so first off, what you are going to want to do is make sure you have your phone connected to your computer via a lightning cable. You don't have to have a Windows computer. You can have a Mac, you can have a Linux, it doesn't really matter. As long as you have your phone connected to your computer and your computer registers your phone, you are set. The thing is what you're basically doing is you are installing a file via a certain program onto your phone from your computer. You're basically bypassing the app store and you're getting an app that doesn't even exist on the App Store, basically because the App Store doesn't allow free screen recorders. So here's what we're going to do. First off, you are going to need a program called WinRAR. So search it up as you guys can see right here, click the enter button, and then click the very first link that appears. This is basically how you are going to be able to get the other program in order to download the direct file of every chord. So I'm a Windows user, so I'm going to get the 64-bit version here. If you have a Linux, get the Linux version. If you have a Mac, get the Mac version. If you don't really speak good English, then you can get these other versions, but I'm going to get this one right here, and I'm going to install WinRAR because you are going to need to use WinRAR in order to actually get this program installed on your computer. So click OK, click Done, and then you are set. You can exit out of that, and you don't need that anymore. The next thing you are going to need is called Cydia Impactor, as you guys can see right here. Cydia Impactor is basically a way to get apps that you could normally only get jailbroken on a non-jailbroken device. I don't have a jailbroken device, and I'm able to use this program in order to get apps that I wouldn't normally be able to get. It's very cool, and people are probably a little confused. They think you may only need to be jailbroken, but you don't need to be jailbroken in order to do this. So, Click the first link that appears, click the download that is according to your computer that you use, click open, and you will need to use WinRAR here in order to extract this to what I would recommend your desktop, just so it's easily accessible. So click OK. I'm going to click yes to all because I already have that. I might already need to, I might have already, well, I have installed this already, so I don't really need to worry about installing that again. But after you do that, as you guys will see, you will have Impactor installed on your computer. After you do that, you will now be able to open up Impactor, and if you have your phone connected to your computer, it should say your phone's name right there. If you don't have your phone connected, this will be a blank bar, this will be a blank bar, and you will need to have your phone connected in order to actually install this file onto your phone. So this is where this website, the EveryCord website, comes in. Go to everycord.net, spelled exactly like this, and a lot of people are going to think you want to click the iOS install right here. But here's the thing. If you wanted to do this directly on your iPhone, you would click that button right there. But here's the problem. I want to show you guys a way to get this free, and if you do this directly on your iPhone, you are going to need to pay for another app in order to get this one. And I don't think anybody watching this right now wants to have to spend money to get a screen recorder, so I am showing you guys this method using a computer which is free. So you're going to scroll down all the way down to the bottom here and click the iOS IPA right here. Wait for it to install, show it in the folder, and then drag this directly over to your desktop. I already have the file, so I'm just going to replace it right there. And now you have this one right here. So 
From here, you're going to want to open up Cydia Impactor and simply drag this into the Cydia Impactor program. Now here's the thing, you can use your regular Apple ID, you can use a different one. I'm going to use a different one just because I'm always about security. I just created my own private Apple ID specifically for this and you can do that yourself. I don't really think there's any worry, but just in case, and I'm going to basically bypassing the App Store and this is the only way you're going to be able to do this. You can only install apps using your Apple ID. So after it does that, it's going to install, it's going to come up with an error on your computer for some odd reason. Half the time, as you guys can see, there's the error right there, plist.hpp number 92, but that doesn't mean anything. You still will have every cord installed on your phone. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to actually transfer my recording over to my phone so I can show you guys what you need to do from your phone. So I'll see you guys there. All right, guys, so here we are now showing my iPhone screen. If you've done everything correctly, you should have every cord installed on your iPhone. I would not personally send notifications. It's all up to you. It doesn't really affect how the app performs. You're going to click Agree, click Agree, and now you have every cord on your phone. I would access the microphone and I would access the photos. That's pretty important to do so. And now you can go over to your settings. The first couple of things in the settings are just for the app customization. You can change the color scheme from dark to light. That's going to only be enabled after you exit out of the app and open it up again. I would personally recommend to protect the recordings and the settings just because that's probably pretty important if you are going to use this diligently as a YouTube recording device. And next, you can go down to the main settings that are going to affect how your recordings turn out. For the video orientation, this will determine whether or not you record your videos in a portrait form like this or a landscape form like this. Um, if you are going to do a lot of Let's Plays on things like Minecraft Pocket Edition, maybe Pixel Gun 3D, other games like that, you're going to want to record in landscape. I would personally put home button to rights. But since I'm going to be testing this out first in portraits, that's what we're going to have it for right now. Next off, your resolution, I would personally keep it in the actual size. You can lock it in at 1080p if you really want to, but the actual size is going to determine whether or not the, the game that you are playing is going to be in 720p or 1080p, because a lot of games are still in 720p, so it doesn't really make sense to record in 1080p if you can't actually play the game in 1080p. And then the frames per second, I mean, you can record in 60 FPS, so why not record it in 60 FPS? Look at the smoothest possible recordings out there. Next are the audio. I really wouldn't mess around with this too much. Obviously, you're going to want to record the microphone and the device. Unfortunately, you can't record the device separately, so what you're going to have to do is record the game audio and your voice as well. If you were to want to only record the game audio, you're going to have to play the game pretty quietly and just have the game volume turned up to the absolute max and just not say anything if you were only doing a gameplay without a commentary. Next off, the sample rate and the stereo. I would personally keep it at mono and then I would I really wouldn't mess around with this too much. It's not really going to affect this because in the end you are recording this on an iOS or an iPhone microphone and it really doesn't matter all that much. So you can put it up to maybe 48,000 hertz, but if you put it up more, it's just gonna be a very large file size and it's not really that necessary. So I would click done after you do all that. I would name this test or anything random at all. Click done and now you're going to click yes. So save this as a test. It's going to work with AirPlay and next all you're going to need to do is click allow and now it's recording every chord on your device. It's actually recording my voice right now, so I can just scroll like this, I can maybe open up a game, maybe something like Flappy Bird. What we can do is we can turn on the game volume like this, so we can hear what it sounds like with the game and me talking at the same time, and then just exit out of this right here, and then go back to every chord when we're done, click done, click yes, and it's going to compile the video right here. All right, once you finish up the recording here, you're going to want to open up the recordings here and it's going to need to enable the Touch ID. I actually cut that part out, but it's going to say enable Touch ID, so you're going to want to do that in order to view the recordings folder. So we're going to click our test, we're going to click the play button and see how it turned out. So let's go click the play, play. button right here. And next, all you're going to need to do is click allow and now it's recording 
every record on your device it's actually recording my voice right now so i can just scroll like this i can maybe open up a game maybe something like flappy bird what we can do is we can turn on the game volume like this so we can hear what it sounds like with the game and me talking at the same time and then just exit out of this right here and then go back to every chord when we're done click done click yes yeah. all right so that's basically it for this um there is a scratching sound in the background, and that's only because I am doing this, like, I'm holding my phone on my bed here, so my speaker's down here, that's where it picks up, and I am holding my phone like that, so that is something to note. When you are recording, you don't want to be moving around a lot, so you can have the optimal audio quality. I'd recommend sitting in a chair and only recording, not really moving around all too much. You don't want to have your phone resting on your bed like this and moving all around like this because it's not going to turn out with the best audio quality so that was an example there of what you should not do with my little audio recording right there but um, if I was to record this sitting down without any sort of connection between my bed and my speakers then it would be a lot better the audio quality is good it's basically the same quality that you would get with your regular voice recordings on your phone so if you think that's a good enough microphone then you should be good with these recordings but in all honesty guys um, I might actually do one more recording here very quickly with the landscape portrait option and then what I'm going to do is click this name this as test 2 and I am going to try to do this where it's a little bit quieter do I, where I don't have this connected to my bed so I'm going to click done click test 2 and now I'm going to swipe up from the bottom here and it should be good so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open up any random game right here like maybe Minecraft Pocket Edition for example so we can go open that up very quickly and we can click continue here play and then something like this and just see how this would turn out so very loud let me turn that down a little bit but um like for example this is what you would do with Minecraft Pocket Edition you can record it just like this and then once you're done exit out go back into every chord here click done and now you can stop the recording so the audio quality should be a little bit better with this um, I am still not recording this in the best optimal way so we can go over to our recordings now click test 2 and see how this one turned out so as you guys will see if I click the play button right here it should be good so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open up any random game right here like maybe Minecraft Pocket Edition for example so we can go open that up very quickly and we can click continue here play and then something like this and just see how this would turn out so very loud let me turn that down a little bit but um like for example this is what you would do with Minecraft Pocket Edition you can record it just like this and then once you're done Exit out. So that's basically it. That's actually, uh, for the most part, all you really need to do, guys. And uh, with that being said, I'm hoping that uh, helped you guys out a lot. So that's basically it, guys. That is how you can get every chord on your iOS device. It's a very simple process, and I really hope this helped you guys out a lot. If it did, make sure to leave a like down below. If you are watching this with a different device, you can test it out on a Linux, on a Mac, on a Windows, on an Android, just see how this thing turns out. As I said, this tutorial is specific for iOS devices, but it's pretty similar in the installation process for Android, so not really that different. It's pretty easy to install via Android, and if you really wanted to, you could probably look up some tutorial videos on YouTube. Now, if this is the very first video you are coming across on my channel and you like my content, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below for some more gaming videos. I do a lot of gaming videos and you would probably enjoy my content. So with that being said, guys, every chord, awesome program. I really hope this video is going to help you guys get a really cool screen recorder and it may even start some YouTube channels. So, hey, Check it out. If you've ever considered doing some videos yourself on a game that you enjoy, you can try to do that. Maybe do one, two videos, see how it works with every chord, and see if you like doing videos yourself because you never know. There may be one or two people watching this video right now that may be the next big gaming mobile YouTuber. So with that being said, guys, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode.